Okay, so we got the clear down bridge for the 1350 scale on a prize that I'm about to uh, detail and put together. And that's the kit, that, the bridge that came with the kit. And you can see that um, the clear one is to let all the light through. And when the decals go on, you can see the decals. It's gonna shine through as the as if the screens were illuminated. And you can see the controls um, for the consoles and the console controls. Um, the paragraphics photo etch parts will go in on the bridge too. And that's for the windows. Well, not windows, but screens. So this is going to be pretty cool. So let's get to it. Alright, so I went ahead and I took them off of the sheet. These are all the parts um, that are going to be going on to the bridge from the photo wet sheet. Um, from what I can tell you guys, if you do this, be very, very careful um, because they're very delicate, especially, I don't know if you can see the railings that are going to go in. And I use my hobby knife with this attachment. What I do is I kind of push down just push down and wiggle it gently and that'll cut through um, when you're able to release it after and don't try to pull it just wait until it breaks free and that you see it uh, free itself um, like I said these are very delicate so we'll go ahead and we'll start putting them in the bridge Okay, to give you guys the scale and show you how hard it is to work with this, um, I just put the railing in. Let me see if I can, well, I gotta glue it still, but I got it through the magnifying glass. Let's see if I can focus on it. That is very small. Um, I got it into place, I gotta glue it. And luckily, I'm using this tool. If you guys can get one of these to do this kit, um, it's a great help. Um, but I'm going to start to glue everything into place and I'll show you guys an update when I'm done. Okay, to give you an update, getting the I'm doing it by sections and let me try to focus I don't know if you can see that it's just like a jeweler um, <laughs> but you get the console in the railing in and the wall with the screens in so I'm trying to do it on this side so the glue can settle and dry before I flip it over and do the other half but this is uh, this is quite the challenge if you guys do this, you're going to have to have a lot of patience. It helps to have another, to use the other bridge to put the parts in and kind of preform them before you put them into the uh, clear bridge. Okay, so we put the view screen in, and we got the view screen going on. Look at, <laughs> on screen. Okay, so what I did mine is, I did mine for the production uh, second pilot version, and I got all the photo etched parts in, and that's, it's very difficult to get them in there, so I'm going to have to live with this, and when it's a little bit dry, when the glue sets, I'll try to form it a little better to form the model, and then I'm going to apply the decals.
So I'm going to let this dry. Okay, so I cut out the stickers that I need. And as you can see, I'm going to be doing the pilot version, well, the, the production version, which is also the second pilot. And it shows you the decals needed. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but the kit itself actually came with decals. And I'm actually using the kit um, decal for the main viewer because it's actually got a Klingon D7 battle cruiser on it. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to use that one. But the rest, the, um, the screens on the sides and the consoles, I'll be using the paragraphics um, decals. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint it. Um, I want to get it all dry first before I put the, the decals on. And you can see the painting guide shows you the, the areas of red, gray, and dark gray. And I'm going to be using the gray testers for the dark gray. And the acrylic, I'll be using the granite gray because the granite gray is lighter. Um, I'm going to do some painting. And then I'm going to let it dry overnight. Um, and I'll put on the decals tomorrow. But I'm going to get it all prepared and get it painted. Hopefully it's starting to look good. Okay, so I put the paint on, trying to follow the guide as best as I can. I did the light gray, the dark gray, and I did the red for the doors. Um, again, this is so, um, <laughs> it's so hard to get in those little areas. Mine um, kind of looks like a, imagine if the bridge of the Enterprise was made out of Play-Doh. <laughs> That's kind of what mine's looking like. Um, it's very difficult for me to get my brushes inside. Let me try to focus. That's um, that's my bridge so far. I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm going to put the decals on. Yeah, it's not focusing. The scale is so small. Hopefully the, uh, the decals make it better looking. I'll let you guys see it when I put the decals on. All right, so I officially finished the bridge. Um, it did not come out as I hoped it would. Um, I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube where the bridge looked really great, and mine uh, looks kind of crappy. <laughs> um, I used the sticker from the kit for the main viewing screen because I like the Klingon ship. I don't know if you can. I can try to zoom in and show you the Klingon ship on the main viewing screen. It was so difficult for me to get the stickers into place and all the painting done. Where it, it's almost, I almost wish I wouldn't have even bothered getting the, uh, the paragraphics supplemental kit just because it's so, so difficult. Um, I'll put it under the, micros, under the magnifying glass and show you guys a little better um, angle than this. 
this. Okay, let's see if you can see a little better angle. This is through the magnifying glass. Uh, of course, it's not going to focus now. You see the console, the Mr. Spock station, and the windows. Um, I'll, let me get back out of the magnifying glass. All right, let's give you a side-by-side -side comparison. This is the ship, uh, the bridge that came with the ship, and it does give you de decals um, with the ship. I didn't know that, but it does give you decals for the bridge, um, and this is the one that I had done, um, the clear from the paragraphics. And, uh, well, it looks pretty horrible. But this is the side-by-side -side comparison. Um, like I said, the bridge is so difficult to do. But, I'll rotate the bridge for you. And see Mr. Spock station, Lieutenant Uhura station. Um, they do give you small little photo etch people to put on the bridge, but I just, there's just no way I would have been able to do that. It's just too small for me. The main viewing screen. Over to the other side and up to Mr. Spock's, uh, excuse me, Mr. Scotty, Scotty station. Um, and then the turbo lift. You see console and Mr. Chekhov and Mr. Sulu are and of course the captain's chair. So that's my finished bridge for the 1350 scale USS Enterprise. Um, it's all set now to put into the, um, the B and C deck.
Okay, so it's all nice and dry. And what I did was both inside and out, they've got two coats of the primer. And what I did was I gave two coats of the bright white for the inside, so when the windows go in with the light, the light will dissipate better. And I put two coats of the gray. I like the battleship gray um, on the outside. So the painting is all set, so it's good to go. I'll go ahead and start assembling um, the island. Okay, so I went ahead, I got all the clear parts ready to assemble B and C deck. I got my bridge, that's all set to go. Um, a lot of the small pieces are out, they're cleaned off and ready to assemble. Okay, so everything is glued in place and this model kit fits together very nicely, um, even the very small pieces. The windows are all in place and I glued the bridge in. And like you fellow Star Trek guys know out there, I like to keep the turbo lift in line with the turbo lift shaft. And as you know, the bridge is off center. So if you wanna do it by the movie or by the television series, if you can see the door for the turbo lift shaft, um, it's off center. So the bridge is actually facing off. I guess that would be, what, 10 o'clock if you're on the bridge. So, the bridge is in place. And it's funny, because that's a lot of work to do for the bridge. And you can't really see. Um, and so you can see it, but not as much as... You know, but let's just say that probably won't be the focal point of the model. <laughs> but all the windows are in place. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to detail it. And um, the decals will go on. I'll do that right now. Okay, so I went ahead, all the windows are glued in place, the clear parts that needed to be painted, well, the red, as you can see on the paint guide, to be, where is it, the transparent for the red, and both sides, the turbo lift is green. And that's green. And the island of the saucer section, B and C decks, it, um, oddly enough, there's only one decal. There's a decal that goes on the back, but that's going to be attached to the top of the saucer section. So this is pretty much it for this part of the model. Um, I don't know if I'm going to run a coat of clear on this now or wait until I do it all together. Um, I probably will just attach it to the top of the saucer section and put the clear on after all the decals and painting um, is done for the primary hull. But all that work that the, went in for the bridge, and it's funny because you still see it, but you don't see as much of it as, well at least not as much as I thought. But it's still pretty cool. I mean this is, this is amazing. This model just continues to amaze me. Remember the first pilot when they show the Enterprise in flight and it zooms right into the bridge. Now let me zoom, focus it for you. That's just so cool. And that concludes this part of the build. This would be part one. Bridge with the B and the C decks all set to attach to the saucer section. I'm going to try to go ahead and light it up for you guys to show you what it looks like lit up. Okay, I went ahead, 
I got the light running to the 9 volt battery and that's just to show you guys what it's going to look like. Oh, it just went out. Okay. The lead slipped off the battery. I just got it hooked up to that. But just show you guys what it looks like uh, lit up with all the windows in place and the bridge. This is really, really, really cool. Let me show you the, the bridge. Of course, it was tough to paint, for me anyway. Um, the bridge won't be the centerpiece of my model kit, but the island, the go on a saucer section looks pretty good. And it's all set to uh, move on to step two of the instructions.